So we are done with the wrapping of the rice sabos, the most sabos. Hello brothers, brothers, sisters, sisters, how are you doing this boy? Quickly, we've seen the Econ and back again with another great content from Econ in Central Region. So in today's video, I'll be taking you back to Gold Coast area. It's one of the food that has been in existence till now and most tribes in Ghana love this food. It's mostly eaten in the afternoon and it's been tagged as snack. Very easy to prepare and with simple ingredients. Food or snack is called Ghanaian wrapped rice and locally known as the Mosahabo. But before we start, can you share the video if you believe in authentic content or video and subscribe to the page or channel? Let's do this or record <music> So to prepare this food, you have to soak the rice overnight to make it tender and that will also help cut down the boiling time. You also need to soak the corn hacks for some hours because that's what you'll be using to wrap the rice and also you soak the peanut for some hours as well. But if you really want everything to cook fast, then you have to soak all these three things overnight which is the rice, the corn hacks and uh, the peanuts. Make sure that I wash the rice to get the, the starch out. This is also a delicious snack in Ghana. And almost all the tribes love it. Okay, some use different kind of leaves to wrap it. Okay. Okay. okay, so we're soaking the rice. We pour our peanut, raw peanut, inside the bowl. I will soak or we wash our peanut as well. So, you know, they soak our. Okay, how many minutes? Is this here? Okay. Uh -huh. it, it's too heavy. This is poor. Okay, so if you don't have the thread or any any rope to tie it, you just take some of uh, some of the corn hype and uh, you fold it like that. Okay, then it went to you have something like this. Wow. Why am? Why am? Something, something, something. So we have our soaked. You see the water? Oh, the has changed, yeah, the water has changed to the color of the peanuts. I'm saying no, yeah, yes, you are easy. So you take some of the rice, it goes in like that. Wow, then take some of the peanuts. Wow, you mix it inside like that. It's often chin to me. Wow. Then you take some of the corn hub, then you cover it like that. You fold it. Wow, now you put this side like an aqua My mommy will experience too much. We experience no soon. Then you tie it. Wow. 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 Easy, 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 easy. I'm like too simple. Oh, mamma mia. Well, look at this. Wow. Man, it's not easy. The smoke and everything. It's my eyes. It's red. And uh, so basically, we are doing two things at the same time. Okay. So over there is the pity, and here is the mosabo. All by this lady. And this her phone number: zero five nine three eight seven nine seven one four. So if, if you Cape are yeah, Cape Coast Central Region, Western, even Accra, and you want to have authentic a pity, anyway, rice, mosabo, a sabo la pewa. Uh, just name it this local local food snacks this lady that's it she has she has been doing it for ages 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 and she has amazing uh, experience 
She's been doing this from Ghana to Cote d'Ivoire. Can you imagine? So we are done with the wrapping of the rice sabos, the most sabo, okay. Yeah, so we'll be using some of uh, the leaves, okay, to boil. You don't, you don't want the, the most sabo to have a uh, direct contact with the pot, okay. Yeah, so it goes in like that. Wow, then this is so straight straight. I'm trying to find the tool. Ah, this two are super cool. Oh, okay, so you place them vertically, okay, so that this will prevent uh, water from entering. So vertically, arrange vent. So I record them. After you know what you're doing, what you're doing. Class is recorded. What you're Reply. After reading them, the second will come, we can, we can go either vertical or horizontal. Now, we are now add salt to it. Okay, so bear in mind that salt wasn't added to the rice. Okay, we now add salt to it like this. This trip, I'm campaigning against the use of the rubber for cooking. Okay, so we have our uh, leaves over here to cover the sabo. Okay, we be, be, be can uh -huh, So, as you can see, okay, nine. Okay. So, normally they use rubber to cover this, but I said no, I don't want that thing to happen. Okay. So we're cutting down the use of rubber to eliminate some of the diseases that we are encountering as human beings in Africa. We now add water to it. Okay. Um, I don't know. So we now have the sabo on fire. Anyway. So we'll be adding this stone on top of it. So we just washed it. Okay, if there's any sun. Now my chance to use chest if you've in water. I'll go to it. I'll go to it. I'll press it. They're pressing it down. Okay, so we can't cover it with the, with the lid because when it starts boiling, it will come up. So the stone is the right thing to do or to use. It's been like almost getting close to one hour since we have this on fire. We're about to uh, wrap, or wrap it to see if it's okay or not. So this was one of the early ones that we wrapped it. Okay. Um, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, Okay. So basically, since we didn't soak the rice, that's why it's taking this much time to cook. Okay. But normally, if you soak the rice, you have like 30 minutes and it's ready. So if you want to do a mosabu, soak your rice overnight and you're okay. So basically, when the water drains, you have to add some to it. Okay. Okay. So it's not ready, it's been almost one hour, 10 or 15 minutes, yeah? As I said, because we didn't soak the rice. Man, the flavor coming, the aroma, amazing. So we have something like this. Okay, this is the, the final result of a mosabo. <laughs> okay, so since it's hot, you can decide to let it cool down before you eat it, or you can eat it hot like that. But you have to be careful as well, as I said. So basically, you see the rice and the peanuts inside. Yeah, the flavor of the rice, the aroma of the rice still exists over here now. Okay, so basically, it's like eating rice. With the peanuts, okay, like that. So this is a perfect snack for Ghanaians, especially the Akans, okay, those in the certain parts of Ghana. We love to eat this in the afternoon. And uh, man, so, so delicious. Really delicious. Mmm. Amazing. Amazing. I heard they, they also have a different one that they replace the peanuts with beef, okay. So they have the beef inside, then they wrap it and they boil it. 
Yeah. Yeah, so that's for today and uh, you've seen the steps in the process. I believe you can watch it and also prepare some emosabo for yourself, okay? But remember to soak a rice overnight before uh, you start boiling it or start wrapping it. You can also boil it straight forward if you want to, but this will give you some extended time to uh, for the boiling, okay? So this is your first time watching, can you subscribe, tell your friend, tell your brother, okay, we've seen that we're describing local food for us Africans, Ghanaians and to the world. Let's meet again for Shizuma Nizzo. I'm out.